welcome to my great grand great aunt's house. This is also my great grandparents' house. It was built back in the 1880s, 1890s, somewhere around in there. This is not the way that the um, that the uh, entrance to the upstairs was when I was a child. When I was a little girl, the steps. It had a mill post here, and it went straight up. All of this was added later in order to uh, protect the, thing, the upstairs um, from vandals when my aunt and uncle couldn't be here. This room over here was the living room, and back many, many years ago, there was a, uh, a coal burning stove here, and my aunt always had her secretary here, she had a beautiful long table here that she had a lamp on that we were never to touch. And um, she would be very upset today to know that, that something happened to that lamp. And she had she had a, a real pretty chair here, a sofa, and uh, it was it was a real homey looking room. It didn't have all of this on there. It was just painted a, a real pretty light green and it was a real pretty room. Back here is the dining room and she had a, a real pretty, in fact I have her dining room table and chairs She and her hutch. She had that here and she had her hutch here. She had a little um, uh, silver chest over here and um, when we would come to visit her we always had our Sunday dinner here. It was really nice. This was a breakfast room, and it definitely didn't look like this. Um, it was a, a more muted color. She had a big round wooden table that sat here, and that was uh, this was basically her little breakfast room. I don't know what it was used for when my um, great grandparents had it, but that was what it was used for then. And then my grandmother had a china cabinet that um, used to sit here. This is the kitchen. The kitchen um, had a table right here. The refrigerator went over here. And then in later years, my, um, my aunt had a washer and dryer here. And then this went out to the backyard and to the outhouse. For many years, that's all we had. <laughs> Okay, you go around here, this used to just be a, por a porch, and they added a, a bathroom here. Right out here, on some steps, this is where the well was, and uh, but it's, it's been capped, so it no longer is in use. Okay, in through here, this was where... This is one of the bedrooms, and this was my uh, uh, great aunt and uncle's bedroom um, later. And they added a big closet in here so that they had plenty of room. My aunt worked for a um, clothing store in Florence, Alabama, and she had lots of clothes <laughs> and hats. They also added a uh, cedar closet in here. <coughs> I was thinking this floor is not original to the house, but all the other floors are original to the house. And as you can see, this one has a little bit of a way to it, but it's it's nice old wood. This one, this was um, I don't think this was always a bedroom. In fact, the living room may have been here, and that may have been the dining room at one point in time, but. This was uh, where we used to sleep when we came to visit. And there was a bed here. She had a real pretty um, vanity over here and a, um, a chest of drawers. And so it was, and it, uh, all, like I say, all this stuff's been added since. Uh, none of this was the way it was to begin with. Upstairs there are, let's see, one, two, three, four more bedrooms up there, and the original wallpaper is up there on, on them. There are, I believe, a couple of iron beds up there, uh, several 
wardrobes and um, some furniture uh, that Aunt Mabel had. So anyway, that's that's about it for the for the house. Um, we've enjoyed it. <laughs>